I'm Jessica Normand. I'm, I'm here from SmartPAC. And just a quick show of hands, how many of you are familiar with SmartPAC? Just curious. Oh, better than the last group. OK, I'll have to remember that. Um, for those of you who don't know what SmartPAC is, we are a, a retailer of products for horses and riders. We were founded in 1999. And uh, although we have a, a big, exciting catalog full of gear and equestrian apparel and all that kind of stuff, um, we, the, real, the real core of our business and what, what I focus on is horse health and in particular nutrition and supplements. We, we carry about 300 different products and we have a, a patented packaging system, which is where the, the company name comes from. And so if you're interested in learning more about the products or the feeding system, we, you know, please stop by the booth. We've got some great samples and we would love to meet all of you. So um, we could chat all day about supplements if you want to do that. One of the things that I am most proud about at SmartPAC is how much we've invested in horse owner education, and we're continuing to invest in horse owner education. Um, we, we really try to think about the whole horse, and we try to have horse owners understand the role of the veterinarian, the role of their hoof care professional. And, um, you know, I, I always like to start these talks, especially with a new crowd, by saying, you know, I bet there's a few people in the room who came to the SmartPAC talk, and they're like, I bet they're going to try to sell me every supplement under the sun, and they're going to tell me every horse needs 10 supplements, and supplements are the answer to everything. That's actually not at all how we do business. Our, our customer service team is highly trained, and, and you could give them a call and test them out, and, and they would be, um, they, it wouldn't surprise me if you had a conversation where they said, let's think about whether or not you need all of these supplements in your horse's um, monthly order, or is there some overlap where we can save you some money. So... Um, we're not supplement pushers. We're really trying to help horse owners realize that supplements are just one piece of the puzzle together with veterinary care, professional health care, dental care, the rest of their diet, all of that other important stuff. So um, everything you're, you'll hear today is definitely a reflection of the work we do educating horse owners out there. Um, we do printed materials. We mail millions of catalogs. We have webinars. We go speak in front of horse owners. And, and so please know that this is a reflection of our philosophy that we're, that we're putting out there um, to, to our customers. Um, so in, in terms of trying to, to be better educators and, and get horse owners to be better at their horse care, we have in the past couple of years really been focusing on partnering with veterinarians. For example, we launched a new program called Colicare, which is a colic surgery reimbursement program that requires horse owners get a certain number of wellness visits through their veterinarian. And now what we're trying to do is think about the hoof in particular and how we might work with hoof care professionals. And, and so we're just here to learn. We want to figure out if there's ways we can partner with hoof care professionals to get um, horse owners to do a better job of, of uh, managing their horse's hoof care. And um, that's why we are a brand new educational partner of the Hoof Care Summit, and we're very excited to be here. So thanks for coming. It's a big, big turnout, which is great. Um, so I already mentioned that you know we, we, we like to debunk the myth that we're just supplement pushers, and we really, truly are out there um, educating horse owners about um, the important factors of all the components of hoof health. And I didn't just put regular professional maintenance as the first bullet because I was here. We really do tell people that. <laughs> um, so, you know, again, this is a reflection of, of the message that we're, that we're telling horse owners. But the goal for today is really for you folks to walk away and have a better idea. If your client asks you about hoof supplements, have a better idea of how to answer questions or what to look for, especially if they want help choosing a product. So there are obviously many factors that affect hoof health. I, I, you don't need to hear this from me. Regular professional maintenance being A number one, um, and SmartPAC does absolutely believe that. Obviously, climate and environment being very important as well, and exercise and activity. We are big proponents of making sure horses get as much turnout as possible and as much exercise as possible. And then where we come in is in, is in nutrition, which obviously does play a role in hoof health as well. So just <clears throat> kind of thinking big picture for a second about, about nutrition and horse health, um, I'm sure most of you know that there, most, many horses are on commercially available feed products that are fortified with vitamins and minerals, um, as well as protein and, and other things. Um, thank you. <laughs> so it is absolutely true that if a horse is getting um, one of those fortified feed products, those products are designed to meet all of their, all of their nutritional requirements. 
The interesting thing, though, that many horse owners don't realize is that only works if the horse is getting a full serving of that feed product. And we've done a lot of research looking at typical serving sizes, and we found that looking at every major feed brand you can think of, um, the average comp- full serving of a fortified grain is about seven to nine pounds a day. So that means the horse would have to eat seven to nine pounds of that grain to get all of his vitamins, minerals, and protein from the grain alone. Um, but we found that about 70% of horses on a fortified grain or complete feed aren't getting that full serving size. And, you know, I am an owner of an old type Morgan who, if he even looked at a bag of grain, would gain 100 pounds. So he's a perfect example of a horse that just doesn't need grain or maybe just a handful to keep him happy at dinner time. But what happens is if the horse owner is correctly limiting that grain product because they're trying to limit calories, they're inadvertently also not providing the vitamins and minerals that that horse needs. So this is a really common thing we run across. And, you know, who, you know, who cares? Why are vitamins and minerals so important? Well, they do a variety of things. And in terms of hoof health, um, they're very important for the production of tissues, helping the horse recover from exercise, having the immune system work properly, and they, and they definitely play a direct role in, in having healthy hoof tissues in particular. And then the other fact I just wanted to, to throw up here was that the National Research Council tells us that in order for a horse to get all of his nutrient requirements from grazing alone, which would be ideal because that's how horses were designed to eat and, and live, but they would have to eat quality pasture for about 17 hours a day. And, and I'm from New England where we, we're lucky if we have a couple acres of grass and the horses get out for a few hours. So again, for many of your clients, that might not be a realistic way for them to get all their, their nutritional needs met. And this is really where supplements might be appropriate for an individual animal. Um, again, for the easy keeper type of horse like mine, who doesn't get a, he doesn't get any grain, or even for the horse that gets a small serving of grain just to keep him happy at mealtime, uh, a vitamin mineral supplement might be a really good option for that horse owner. There's many of them that come in pelleted form where, so they can, they can get all of those nutrients they need without the calories they don't need um, from feeding more grain. Also, uh, there's a product, the type of product called a ration balancer, which is available from pretty much every major feed company, and we are big proponents of using ration balancers. In about a one-pound serving size of pellets, the horse thinks he's getting grain like his skinny thoroughbred neighbor next door. He won't know the difference, but it'll give him all of the nutrients he needs without the calories he doesn't need. So, so that's just um, really, really common that we run into this horse is not getting enough vitamins and minerals, and there are a couple of really e- easy ways to resolve that with a vitamin mineral supplement or a ration balancer. And then in terms of hoof supplements, um, the the role of a hoof supplement is to to provide the specific nutrients, the specific vitamins, minerals, and protein sources that are necessary for the body to produce healthy, resilient hoof tissues. So, um, you know, again, the role of a hoof supplement is to provide those those nutrients that we know the horse's body needs for making healthy hoof um, and also for supporting normal growth rate. So you might have an, uh, an individual horse whose, you know, the hoof that he does grow is pretty good, but he doesn't, he doesn't grow particularly um, at what you would consider a normal rate, um, and you'd like him to grow more foot. So, so you can think about growth rate as well as quality. And then the last point here, there are a couple products on the market that do support healthy circulation to the foot. Those are a little bit different, but in a case where you know the diet is complete and balanced and the horse is getting regular maintenance and... Um, he's getting plenty of other activity. He doesn't need more biotin or whatever the case may be. But you still want to see if you can affect the quality or the, the growth rate. There are a couple of products available that support healthy vasodilation and, and, um, and circulation to the foot. So, again, I want you to be able to walk away with a couple easy things to remember when you're looking at hoof products with your clients. Uh, first and foremost, biotin. Not a shock to anyone in the room, I'm sure. Uh, The the good thing to know about biotin is it does have quite a bit of research. So we know that um, feeding a serving size of about 10 to 30 milligrams of biotin per day can positively impact growth rate as well as quality of the hoof wall. So that's that's a good point to remember. Uh, Minerals, you you might see a variety of trace minerals in particular, but copper and zinc are particularly important to the production of healthy connective tissue like hoof horn. So, So those are definitely something to look for on your hoof supplement label. Amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein, protein being um, uh, primarily used for the production of tissues. So again, really important when you're trying to grow healthy hoof. Lysine is, is one that uh, the, the, 
the scientists would say is the most limiting amino acid, which essentially means no matter how much other protein you provide in that animal's diet, if he doesn't, in, in the horse at least, if he doesn't have enough lysine, he can't utilize the rest of the protein. So it's considered essentially like the most important amino acid. So that's something that you might look for. There are other essential amino acids that are, that are good to have in your hoof formula as well. And then in addition, fatty acids. You've probably heard of things like omega-3s, omega-6s. Um, your hoof product might have some whole food sources of fatty acids like flaxseed or rice bran, which are absolutely great, good for pliability of the hoof tissue, good for uh, cellular health of the hoof tissues, among other things. And then some other things to look for. Um, silica, which more correctly is the element silicon, is a, is a mineral that it's already present in our diet and in our horses' diets, but it, it's really hard to get enough of it. And it has been shown to be really, really vital, again, in connective tissue formation. I say connective tissue enough times, um, <laughs> maybe we'll get sick of hearing me say that, but really connective tissue, you know, it's the hooves, it's the tendons, it's the ligaments, but um, you, whatever you can do to support the body manufacturing strong, resilient connective tissue is a good thing in terms of hoof health. Uh, collagen, you might see on the product label listed as gelatin. You can really think of those two things as the same thing. Again, another, another structural protein. Phosphatidylcholine is a um, fatty substance that's great for cellular health and um, also particularly beneficial for, for hoof tissues. And then the last one, arginine, this is the one that you want to look for on the label if a product claims to support healthy circulation. It's another amino acid, and it, we won't get into all the crazy hard scientific stuff, but in a nutshell, it's needed for the production of something called nitric oxide, which is a key component of proper normal circulation to tissues. So if a, a product claims to, to support circulation, you want to make sure it has arginine on the label. These are all natural um, nutrient substances. These are not drugs or anything of that nature. Other helpful tips, and I said to the last group, you know, if you want tips on choosing supplements, we're the people to call. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of conversations with horse owners about every supplement under the sun, and we hear their problems, we hear their challenges, and palatability is, is, a, is a bigger issue than you might realize. So if a client is choosing between a powder and a pellet, do encourage them to go with a pelleted product. They're just going to have better luck. The horse is going to eat it more easily. They're not going to leave it in the bottom of the feed tub. In terms of rating quality, two things you can look for, either the National Animal Supplement Council seal of quality or the ISO 9001 certification. Either of those would be an excellent indication of quality manufacturing standards, the um, product, what's on the label actually being in the product. Everything in the product is disclosed on the label, things of that nature. So great things to look for if you're trying to judge quality. And this slide makes me chuckle because, you know, it seems a little silly, but you wouldn't believe how, how um, confused horse owners can be in terms of um, expectations around a hoof supplement. Um, at SmartPak, we, it is not uncommon for someone to buy a, a tub of, of hoof product that might last a month or two and call us and say, I fed this whole darn thing and my horse is, still has toe cracks. And so they, you know, they might not understand that you're trying to grow new hoof wall and that that takes time. So if you're having a conversation about a hoof supplement, don't assume that they understand that and make sure they understand that, that patience will be key, you know, depending on the time of year and the individual animal and a number of other factors, as, as you all know, far better than I do. But the, the horse will probably grow on average about a quarter inch of, of new foot a month, so um, they're just going to have to give that some time. And also, if, if you all work together and you make a difference between regular maintenance and good activity and exercise and managing the environment as best as possible and addressing the dietary component, and you do all this work and you spend nine or 12 months and the feet are looking great, and then they want to bag one of those factors and stop feeding the supplement or, or, or not keep up with their regular maintenance with you, well, obviously, the hooves are, are probably going to go downhill again. So making sure they understand that this is a continual um, management process. It's not a one-time fix. None of those factors are a one-time fix. And um, again, certainly um, keeping up with their professional hoof care is, is the most important factor, and, and we're, we're not, we are totally on board in agreement with that. Um, and then in summary, you know, why would you recommend a hoof supplement? So just to kind of circle back to the beginning, we have a lot of data that shows us that many horses simply are not getting enough vitamins and minerals from their, from their normal diet. And 
this may impact their hoof health. So, so it's just something to keep in mind. Um, again, thinking about those fortified grains, just because the horse owner says, oh yeah, he gets this complete feed, doesn't necessarily mean, in fact, there's a really good chance the horse isn't getting a full serving size, so he may actually be deficient in some of those key nutrients. Um, again, research shows us that biotin can improve the growth rate and the quality of hoof wall. So that's why biotin is the, you know, the, the most important thing, the starting point when you're choosing a hoof supplement. And, and obviously, you know, it's, a, it's another tool in your tool chest as you're working with these horse owners. Um, we're, you know, we're not here to say supplements are some magic silver bullet by any means, but a quality hoof supplement can absolutely you know, make an impact, give you healthier hooves to work with, and, and hopefully make your job easier. So. Uh, I have a couple before and afters of some, some of our customers. This, these photos aren't the best quality, but this was, um, in, in both cases, they also began working with a new hoof care professional at the time they started their hoof supplement. Um, so that is obviously a big factor as well. But both horses um, got, a, got a new farrier and started the hoof supplement. Um, this is one individual nine months later. And then these pictures are a little better quality. Again, this coincidentally was a nine month period. Um, new farrier and starting the supplement at the same time nine months later. That's it. Any questions? Yes. I have a lot of clients that ask, like, should I use a supplement or whatnot? And if I tell a client, yes, you can try Smart Pack. And I've used it before, and, but are my client's eyes going to bug out when they see how much it costs for one supply? They're like, oh my god, I can't afford yeah. that. Or is it it's a great question. The good yeah. news is that the in terms of all of the supplement categories out there, hoof products are, are pretty reasonable. Um, we have, on average, the, the products in this category cost about $15 a month, maybe 20 So it's not, it's not you know, for more, most horse owners, in terms of how much else, you know, they're spending on their hoof care, it, it is a relatively small portion. Um, in the case of a, of a, you know, like a hoof that started out looking like that, you might need to feed that animal a double serving for 12 months. And then you could maybe taper that back to more of a maintenance dose level. So obviously, price is going to be impacted that way. But generally, the products are pretty reasonably priced. It's a great question. Yes. Um, if a horse is not on a complete feed, will they still benefit from just being on a hoof supplement? Great question. If the horse is not on a fortified grain or a complete feed, will they still benefit from being on a hoof supplement? Uh, yes. You know, there is. Um, there's a lot of factors to think about, you know, where, where are the nutrients coming from his forage? Is he getting some other sources of nutrients? So um, you do want to think about the, the whole picture of where all of his vitamins and minerals and protein are coming from. Um, but for the most part, um, adding a hoof supplement is certainly not going to be harmful. In fact, most horses would probably benefit from bumping up the levels of nutrients um, in their diet because most horses, when we look at that data, we see they they err on the side of deficient. I think a lot of horse owners are very fearful of, of, of feeding too many of these nutrients. And yes, if you stack three hoof supplements together with your fortified grain, you're probably going to overdo it. But just feeding one balanced product following the label guidelines, um, I think that would absolutely be appropriate. Yeah. What I would advise them to do is um, work with someone who can help them figure out, does this horse need um, his full vitamin mineral? Is he a deficient across the board, like in the case of my horse? It could be Smart Pack. It could also be um, a, you know, an equine nutritionist. And also, I highly recommend there's a, there's a software available from a company called Feed XL. They're based in Australia, but they do a lot of work in the US. Really easy for the horse owner to plug in their horse's full diet. And it gives them a great write-up of where they are deficient. And then they can kind of plug in supplements or different feeds, and it'll help them find, the, find a good balance there. Um, so we're happy to help. They can call us working with a nutritionist or Feed Excel is the name of that company, and I think I have to wrap it up. I would love to answer more questions. Please stop by our booth. Um, we're in the 800s. I forget the exact number, but thank you for coming.